came to the edge of this field, Cable Green. And in the field, the first thing I saw was one of, the, one of our airmen upset, and Robert Ball was talking to him. The guy was scared about something. And uh, walked forward into this field. What I could see was a 50 foot diameter, approximately, glowing mist on the ground. I saw a red light come in, came down over the field in a downward arc went to the top of this mist and I was not far from it and there was a flash of light that was blinding. All of this is being filmed and in the place was a triangular delta shaped machine, object, craft. The red, orange, glowing ball object was about two, approximately two feet off the ground. I cocked and locked the M60 machine gun. I was scared to death. I didn't know what that was. I didn't know if it was gonna hurt me. Yeah, the airman jumped the fence and went out towards it, and if it had done anything to try to harm him, I was fully prepared to open fire on him. pieces, the whole thing just, just blew us away. I mean, there's no aircraft that could do that. The movements, no aircraft can even do that today. It was like a thick beam that was scanning the whole WSA, like it was looking for something. I watched cameras go through the actions of filming, and I know still pictures were taken. And off the fabric of this machine thing came this bluish gold bubble that was about a foot off the ground, and it split into three. And inside that, the upper extremities of what I only can say was a non-human entity. We have actual motion picture film of the UFO. And it was given to the F-15 that pulled, flew from Germany onto uh, Bentwaters airfield. And it was handed to the pilot, the canopy closed, and the plane took off. This craft or whatever it was, it kind of started back, like it was backing out of the WSA and it started going over the treetops of the forest. What told me this was alive is that when they moved, 